busting heads. Spring Thunder is brought to you by Realtree, Woodhaven Custom Calls, Huntera, Federal Premium Ammunition, Bog Pod, the National Wild Turkey Federation, and Cabela's. Hey, right there, probably 100, 125 yards, 150 yards. It's right across that little drain. I wouldn't have any trouble sitting up right here. Maybe at least get them to skirt the tip of this little ridge here and check us out, if nothing else. Alright, well it's uh, April the 21st, we're here on some public land in Iowa, uh, as you can tell we hadn't had to get too far from the road this morning before we were able to sit down on some goblin birds, we set up right on the edge of the upper end of a lake bottom here, got the hills to our left, birds were roosted up a little drainage and we're kind of hoping that they'll come down the drainage and kind of skirt these little finger ridges and end up right down here in this bottom with us. Uh, I think if these don't play, it sounds like we got several other options, so we're going to give these a try and see what happens and then go from there. I mean, he's, he's been in the same place. I think. We've been out on the edge of the lake for about the last 45 minutes here. These birds are gobbling up this little feeder creek up here in the head of it, we're pretty sure. So we're gonna slip up over this ridge and kind of get in the feeder creek with them and see if we can get a little closer and get them to break. They've, they've kind of shut down gobbling. We think they may be with a few hens or whatever. We're gonna try to get, get in tight to them, see if we can get them to break to us. This will work right there. I'll work right there. That log.
He is coming right back down, right back down to the left, right there. Yep, yep. Wait, nope. How long be this today? <laughs> yeah, okay. Was that something? That was something, boy. How close was he when he gobbled right there? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it, it'd be almost impossible for the video to see what all just took place, but the way he come across, and I thought he was going to come up this little finger ridge right here, and I mean, he would have that would have put him at seven or eight steps. He, I mean, when you killed him, he wasn't but fifteen, was no. he? Good gracious! And I, I mean, he kind of started putting at it, but he still was curious about what that. Where that hen was at. Yeah, he was. I mean, those little yips you threw down, kind of threw them down away from him. I think that helped bring him back around. That's classic turkey coming in. You know, no, no decoys, no nothing, just coming yep. in looking. You seen him when he, he yep. come off that he little ridge up. and he just stood there and he just yep. popped in the half strut and he looked. He was being awful cautious. He was convinced there was a hen though. Oh, big old dead gum. Oh, God, good, good spurs, too. White. Good long beard. Man, that ain't... Uh, <laughs> that's a lot different than our Mississippi turkeys. Our little, <laughs> He's got a little half to Our little chickens, he? yeah. <laughs> Gosh, mighty. White spurs. Do y'all kill a lot of white spur turkeys mm -hmm. up here? Yeah. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe a three-year-old bear. I don't know. Boy, they are they are white though. Yeah. I don't know if I would kill too many with them that pure white. Yeah, you see that? Look at that. I mean, that's. I've never killed one that white. That is a. That's why we do it. He came. Right across, I believe that turkey came from across the road, man. He might have. I mean, this turkey could have. Us over he could have come down, but you was hearing a turkey drum. I believe this turkey come from across the road, and he didn't gobble till he was. Well, I cut at him, and he gobbled it. I don't know, 60, 70 yards from here. Our tree's not 15 steps from right here. He came right here, right up on this finger ridge, and he gobbled twice right here. And Aaron did some little soft yelps and kind of threw them away from him, and he just turned and came right back here. And I'd already switched to left hand, so I could shoot him up there. What is this for you? How many how many states does this make? Uh, this is 21. 20. This is your 21st state that you've yeah. killed a longbeard, and that's something. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's been a blast, man. I love coming up here to the Midwest. These big old birds, and they gobble good, and. They just, you know, as you well know, they just don't get the pressure our birds get, you know, down home in Mississippi. But this was a blast. This one, man, I don't think we could have asked for him to do anything else. Man, he come right in like he had a hook in his mouth. No doubt. He was he was convinced. Yep. We well, did right. And that's and uh, if you all notice in the video, uh, I wasn't doing any calling until the bird got up here. I was letting Thrash do all the calling and when... Uh, that turkey started coming in. We could tell he, he was coming in. Y'all noticed he laid off that call. Yeah. You wanted him to come in yeah, there looking, looking for you. Yeah. And that's exactly what he did. And you could have killed him when he come across right there. Right. Yep. But, but I mean, you you know, I think with uh, you obviously did it intentionally. I knew right when you did it, you kind of threw a soft little yep. Did you do that with your mouth? Or did yeah, you I just call? did it. No, just natural voice. I just went. Uh, I was, it sounded real good, and he kind of threw it away from the turkey. He was up on a little ridge here, not, you know, 16, 18 steps from us, and we thought we were fixing to 
shoot him in self-defense at about eight steps, but <laughs> Aaron did that and it just it just drew him back around this little finger right here. You know, I had a mouth call in my mouth and I probably couldn't even call on it as soft as he did, plus he threw it away from the bird. He come right around this finger and we shot him at 15 steps. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Man, 21st state, what's, uh, what's the toughest bird you think you've hunted so far? Man, uh, honestly right now I'd have to say, you know, I hunted Louisiana this year. And, uh -huh. uh, I think that was probably one of the first states I've I've been to that uh, I didn't even hear a bird gobble. You know, I was able to get a bird, uh, but the guys wanting to go to other states. I mean, important thing is networking. You know, I've shared as a little information I had on other states with you guys, and then I had already drawn a tag before I even knew you. You know, for up here, uh, so in in Iowa, so uh, you know, we shared some information back and forth. And then when I got up here, you know, this morning I would have been probably in some other area trying to figure things out, but I got an opportunity to come up here with you. And Well, up and here, you, got, you probably didn't need my help. Oh, I, yeah, I'd I, say you'd have been fine, but I don't definitely think. definitely fast-tracked the hunt, the, my, my <laughs> Iowa turkey for sure, because I guarantee you I wouldn't have been sitting right here where we're sitting if I'd have been by myself. So I know for a fact we wouldn't have killed those birds in Mississippi without your help. Yeah. And uh, then again in Arkansas, you, uh, you helped us out there, but he brings up a great point. If you're gonna travel to hunt, you got to get on the phone, you got to burn the phone lines yeah. up a little bit and do some research online. The more you do, the better off you're going to be. I yeah. mean, we uh, we looked into Mississippi a lot more than we did Arkansas and we got our butts kicked in Arkansas for several days yeah. before we kind of before we kind of got things figured out, but uh, I always, you know, my my kind of my theory is that people are willing to work for it and put the time and effort in and I can I can see that I'm gonna share with them what I know and and I think people reciprocate that and it, it helps I mean a lot of the states I've been to just a phone call to somebody hey go right here I've been here I've been on birds you've had the same thing with some other guys happen so yep it definitely can help you out it makes life a lot easier and well congratulations appreciate man. you man thank you yep that was that's fun. a great hunt right no there doubt. no doubt